Alright guys, so after my three week long hiatus from YouTube, I am finally back and uh, over the course I've seen two 2016 releases and uh, yeah, we're just going to combine those two into one review and yeah, without further ado, let's get into reviews of Ride Along 2 and Dirty Grandpa. Alright guys, so Ride Along 2. In Ride Along 2, we follow the story of the brothers-in-law, Ben and James, being played by Kevin Hart and Ice Cube, and basically they're, buddy, they're cops and they're brother-in-laws, and what they have to do is they have to go to Miami to stop this drug cartel, I believe it was, and along the way, we follow Olivia Munn's character and Ken Jeong, and yeah, it's pretty fun. I didn't really want to see this movie. I got an early screening to it. I was like, hey don't have to pay it's pretty cool so then I went to it and I saw this movie how was it well let's find out yeah Ride Along 2 is one of the worst movies of the year I mean I know I only seen two but this this could be in my top 20 for sure by the end of this year basically I could just end the review by me saying it's not funny whatsoever all the jokes that they try to land here are just very poorly executed and they're overdone stupid they have to play it safe rate at PG-13 because the teen audience, you know, we gotta get them in. Obviously, teenagers are gonna go see this and they're gonna laugh their ass off, but whatever. I mean, this movie is just not funny at all. There's a scene in the movie at the very end when Kevin Hart's being dragged from a boat and it is painful to watch. The camaraderie between Kevin Hart and Ice Cube doesn't really work too well either. These two don't work good at all. Ice Cube is just repeating everything that Kevin Hart does and Kevin Hart is just more or less freaking annoying. Just keeps on talking throughout the entire movie and I like Kevin Hart's stand-up but this was just terrible. Olivia Munn plays the love interest in this movie for Ice Cube. She is terrible in this movie as well. Yeah, it's not funny. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Director of this, Tim Story, he directed freaking the first one, directed both Things Like a Man movies, previous two Fantastic Fours, the old, the 2005, 2004 stuff. So yeah, great track record, man. JK, you made a terrible movie this time. Maybe even worse than some of your previous work, and that's saying a lot. Overall, I absolutely hated, hated Ride Along 2. Like, it's not one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but this is a terrible movie. Overall, I'm mean, gonna give Ride Along 2 a D. In Dirty Grandpa, we followed the story of lawyer Jason being played by Zac Efron, who when his grandma dies, must take his grandpa Dick, being played by Robert De Niro, all the way to Basso because she wants to, I don't really know, go to Basso. There's no real reason that I picked up on in the movie, but yeah, it's a road trip comedy and What more can I say? I was excited going into Dirty Grandpa. I like both Zac Efron and Robert De Niro. I actually really enjoyed We Are Your Friends, not like many other people. And Robert De Niro, he's Robert De Niro. He's a legend in cinema. So seeing the two team up, it was a pretty exciting. I was excited for it at least. And finally, I got a chance to see it. And how was it? Well, let's find out. Dirty Grandpa is just a juvenile and raunchy comedy that... It's not very funny. I mean, get, don't get me wrong, it's not the worst comedy of the year, like, I don't know, two, but let's just get into this movie. Alright, so some stuff that does work here is the chemistry between Efron and De Niro. It actually works really well here. You can kind of see the bonding between them as grandson and grandpa. You can really see that dynamic between the two. De Niro is having a blast in this movie. He is having the time of his life. One of the best times he's had in like a movie ever he gets to say some lines that are very very raunchy and offensive and if you're not into offensive humor don't go see this movie because there were some people in my theater that walked out in the middle of it because it was very offensive but we'll get to that later as well as the rest of the cast they did a very good job as well i like zach efron he was actually believable as a lawyer surprisingly uh julianne huff plays the wife she was a little bit annoying but jason montsukis in this movie he was hilarious. He's been cameoing a lot lately. He could get annoying to some people, but for me, I found him to be very humorous. Also, Zoe Dutch is in the movie, as well as um, Aubrey Plaza. And Zoe Dutch was fine. Uh, Aubrey Plaza. I like her character in Parks and Rec, but this... No, I just thought she was pretty stupid in this movie. But let's talk about the negatives now. Alright, so first of all, this movie overstays its welcome for sure. 
This movie is freaking an hour and 42 minutes, but it feels like eternity. It's, it's, it feels so long. And also, to top that off, the first and the second act were actually alright. I didn't hate this movie. I was like ready to walk out of the theater, give it a two and a half out of five. I was like, okay, it's not that bad. But then uh, the third act happened, and that dragged the movie down a whole bunch. There's just so much stuff. They're trying to just combine it all into one part. Uh, here you go, there, 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 there. It's like, dude, calm down. Don't take yourself seriously. They actually apologized for a joke that they had earlier in the movie, and you don't want to do that. I, I forgot which reviewer said that, but you, I'll leave an annotation or a little thing for the review of this episode. But I completely agree with them. You don't want to apologize for humor in a movie. You either go with it or do not say it at all. This movie gets it completely wrong. Also, it's raunchy for the wrong reasons. It's trying to be overly raunchy and grotesque and disgusting. And it just gets to the point where it's just like not even funny. It's just mean and offensive. And overall, I mean, Dirty Grandpa wasn't that great of a movie. Overall, in the end, I'm going to give Dirty Grandpa, though, a D plus. All right, guys, so those were my reviews for Dirty Grandpa and Ride Along 2. Have you guys seen either of these movies? If you have, tell me what you think in the comment section below. And my next review should be for Eddie the Eagle, which I am seeing in an early screening on Tuesday. So look forward to that. And yeah, as always, thank you all so much for watching. And until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 401. I will see you all later.